Today I'm going to show you two ways you can respawn on vehicles, AI, or a player using a simple code. We're going to start off by placing a player. We're going to go to NATO Pacific and to men. Then we're going to place down a rifleman. This is going to be our player. Place down a squad leader and we're going to place him out in the field. We're going to give him an auto rifleman and group him to the squad leader and then we're going to give him a soldier. Alright, we're going to go to the 2D map. We're going to give this guy a code, variable name box. We're going to name the squad leader SL, short for squad leader. Then in his INIT box, we're going to type the following. Left bracket, west, comma, SL, SL is his variable name, right bracket, space, call, space, BIS, underscore, FNC, underscore, add, respawn, position, and then semicolon. We're going to look at this code here. The west is basically the faction or the side that your squad leader or whomever you're going to use this code on is on. This is the name and then this is the function that you're going to use. So once you have this, we're basically just going to copy this. And then hit OK. We're going to just give this guy some waypoints. Basically just patrol that that little farm there. And then this last waypoint, we're going to make a cycle. Alright, so that's all we have to do for the squad leader. Place a vehicle. So we're going to close this. I'm going to go to cars. I'm going to place down a prowler. And we're going to place this guy right here. And we're going to double click him. And we're going to give him a variable name. And his name is going to be prowl. P-R-O-W. Prowl. Initialization box, all you're going to do is you're going to press Control V, which will paste the code that we copied from the squad leader. And then all you need to do here is just change his name. So Prowl was what we named him. And then just hit OK. So next we're going to give him some waypoints. We'll just click on him. And then we're going to basically have him go to the road here. A run down the road. And then he's going to come back. And then we're just going to set this to cycle. Next, we're going to go to planes. We're going to place down a black fish with infantry that can carry infantry. And we're going to place them right here. going to just face him in this direction. We're going to give him a name and we're just going to call him BF. And then his INIT box, control V. And I'm going to change his name to BF. We're going to give him some waypoints and we'll have him start this way. It's going to be limited safe and he's just gonna fly around the island here and we'll make this last waypoint cycle we're gonna place a boat we're gonna place down a mini a speed boat place him in the water and we're gonna edit him and we're going to give him a variable name, so we're just going to name him BT. And then in his INIT box, control V, just paste the code. And then we're just going to put BT and hit OK. And then we're going to give this guy some waypoints. And then we're just going to make him go up the coast. And he'll return. 
and come back around and then we'll cycle him with the uh, first waypoint. Alright, lastly we're going to go to empty and then we're going to type in flag and we will scroll to the bottom and we're just going to put a flagpole we're going to edit the flagpole and we're just going to name this pole and we're going to paste the code control V and we're going to change the name and put it put pole there and then hit OK now that we have our assets placed we're going to go to attributes at the top and then to multiplayer and under the respawn section we're going to go to respawn on custom position select respawn position so make sure you check that under the rule sets and then we're going to set the delay for two seconds turn off the scoreboard and that's all we need to do for that so now we're going to save the scenario i'm going to save it under tanoa and we're going to name this respawn underscore AI. We're going to play this in multiplayer in order to respawn. So when the mission starts, as you can see, we have various assets that we could respawn on. So we have a vehicle that's roaming around like a mobile respawn that you could use. We have a boat that could act like a mobile respawn. You could respawn on AI and or players. And then you have a blackfish that you could respawn on. Right now we're going to respawn on the flagpole. We're going to respawn on the squad leader. Choose the vehicle. Now when you choose a vehicle that's moving or a vehicle that's you know, uh, still, you're going to spawn into the next available seat. There's the blackfish over there. Next, we're going to respawn into the, the boat. spawn into the blackfish. So now I'm going to show you a second method on how to do this. You could either do this through the code like we just did or you could do it through a script. We're going to edit the flagpole and we're going to copy the code control C and then we're going to go to the scenario tab and open scenario folder so in the scenario folder what you're going to do is you're going to create a script and put it into this folder we're going to open a notepad document I'm going to go down one line and we're going to paste the code so this is basically what you're going to do is you're going to take those codes that you put in the I and IT boxes of each asset that you placed basically you could do that five times so we have the pole we have the prowler prowler is going to be p-r-o-w and then I'm going to paste the third and that's all you have to do so just hit file go to save as and then go down to all files and type in the following name this is going to be an I-N-I-T dot SQF. Now if you're going to put this mission on a server, then you're going to want an INIT server.sqf. But for today, we're just going to do INIT. Then we're going to locate our mission. For me is under missions. We're going to go down to Tanoa and respawn on AI, which is this folder, and hit save. You can close that and here's the new script that we created. Now let's go back into the mission. What we need to do is basically go to the flagpole and remove 
the code that we that's in the INIT box, you could leave leave the variable names. I'll remove the code. And we'll go to the prowler. And then we'll go to the blackfish. So we'll just save that and basically we have our server still up. So we'll just hit play. Now the code's gonna be basically adding the same thing except through the script. We got the squad leader. Prowler. show you one more thing let's go back into the scenario folder so back in the scenario folder I'm gonna give you another code we're gonna start up another notepad document and I'm gonna go one line down and this code is respawn on start space equals space zero semicolon then you're gonna to go to save as we're gonna save this and we're going to go to all files and you're going to give this a file name and this is going to be named description.ext. The mission folder is already open so we'll just save it and now you have a description.ext. Now what this is going to do is when the mission starts instead of starting on the respawn selection screen where you're going to choose where you're going to respawn now you're just going to respawn where the player is at the start back into the mission and let's hit play. So now when the mission starts you're gonna start wherever your base is or however your mission is set up and if you get killed you respawn then you have all these different things that you could choose to spawn onto.